Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 7 of Civilization 6. We are getting quite a lot of cities out and that's not a bad idea because if you're going for a religious, uh, a religious, a cultural victory, you really need to go wide because you need to have a lot of um, space to build amphitheatres and things like that. Um, Germany's upset that I uh, settled close to him, but that's fine. Because my next city, even though my next city is going to be on his continent, it's going to be up here, which should be far enough away. I don't consider that to be too close, to be honest. Considering the AI would have dropped his city, like, there, and been touching my border right from the start. It's already down to 36 turns for Campbell June. We didn't actually set the focus here. Not that it makes a lot of difference. But you're working the wheat. You could be working the production tile. As soon as it grows, we'll, uh, we'll lock into that production tile and things will grow a lot quicker. Um... But uh, there's a few things that I want to do. I want to go and hook up that um, cotton for some for a very specific purpose. Um, let's just get you to sleep for now. We want to wait until cartography is done. There's a boost to military engineering. Have some barbarians up here. That's a nasty place for a camp to, to spawn. I mean, I can go and get rid of the camp easily enough. Could probably do with some crouching tigers, to be honest. But in the meantime, we'll just sort of head up here. There's a scout. He knows where our city is. But we think we can one-shot him. No, we didn't get lucky with the RNG. He did survive, but we can probably finish him off soon. So you're going to go ahead and get a plantation on the bananas there. Uh, Zanzibar should be able to deal with that. There's another camp up there, but I think Zanzibar have got that covered. They've got plenty of swordsmen around and stuff like that. Um, I don't. I didn't even see what I got from that, which is the only downside of actually sending the unit directly there. Now, if we wanted to risk losing this guy, we could just go and ninja that goody hut. And I do consider the scouts to be fairly cheap. Right, let's go ahead and get that. So now we have two sources of cotton for definite. So if we go and look at our reports, look at our resources, look at cotton, for example. So... Cotton. We actually have um, same three cotton. Right. So we've got three sources of cotton and it is actually only supplying to four cities. So this is a question that has always been looming over the mechanics of Civilization VI because there are a lot of people who thought if you had multiple copies of the same luxury resource that they would provide um, amenities to more than four cities. So one copy would provide amenities to four cities, two copies to eight cities, three copies to 12 cities and so on. Clearly that isn't the case. We've got three copies of cotton and it's only giving amenities to four cities. And we do have more than four cities. Because if you have a look at the cinnamon, the cinnamon is giving um, amenities to five cities. Cinnamon and cloves are special uh, resources that you get from Zanzibar if you're their suzerain. And they will actually give... It specifically says that they will actually give... Um, where is it? Uh, resource cinnamon and cloves. These cannot be earned any other way in the game and provide six amenities each. So that has answered that question. So I'm very glad that I know that. Right, you want me to give you open borders. Truffles. I probably, do I have spare truffles? Yeah, I guess I do. I don't want open borders. Um, but we'll do that, though. You give me 180 gold and one of your marble, and I'll do that. Yeah, that's fine. We certainly don't have any uh, amenity problems going on. He's unfriendly as well, and he was willing to do that trade. Let's have a quick look at the reports here, though. Um, all of our cities are ecstatic at the moment. Massive amounts of amenities that really aren't required. For some reason, you came closer and didn't back off, which is a bit weird. Zanzibar are dealing with this one up here, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, you can come back to the city. Now, now, does that still count as jungle? I think it does. Or rainforest. Yes, it does. So, we need you to come back until some of these grow. Just hope... Don't want them to sort of pop a ship. Four turns until we get cartography. Still like to get that terracotta army. There's a nice boost to banking. That's fine. You can't go around so, there's guilds done. Now, we could get Chichen Itza. Now, we are building a settler, aren't we? 
Yes, there's one turn left. So we don't want the 50 production bonus towards building settlers. Let's go for the newly trained builders one. Because I think that will be nice. Because we will be getting some more builders. We're definitely going to need them. Uh, we could go for... We don't really need divine right. Um, let's go and pick up naval tradition just because it's nice and quick. Uh, trade route. I still think Zanzibar is the best one. That nine gold per turn is very useful. And we, without it, we're currently losing money. So we definitely need to get some more traders going. You need to go around here because we definitely need to go and clear that um, camp out. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try and ninja that if we can. I mean, we'll most likely lose the scout for doing it. But we'll see what it is. It might it might be something nice. It probably won't be. We get a camp over there. I guess we can. I guess we should. But yeah, it would be nice if we can get Chichen Itza down here. So we'll try and do that once the water mill is done. I say we will have to build it manually, unfortunately. So uh, you see we've still got that damaged warrior from where we attacked it before. Um, what do I want to do with you? I think we just sort of save you for now. So put you to sleep. On to the next turn. So we'll get that settler. Don't really have an escort for him, but I think he'll be fine. The Navy has both there we go. We don't really want to future. change any of those, so that's okay. So we've got this settler. You're going to head over in this direction. Now, of course, settling here won't give us fresh water, but it will give us access to a lot of fish and the dyes and the bananas. It'd be a decent enough spot. Um, Merchant Confederation is nice. Maintain four trade routes. Yeah, I think we'll just go for medieval fares now because we're a long way off getting four trade routes. So do we go straight into... Oh, we don't want Chichen Itza here, do we? So let's get the, um, the water mill. Give us a little bit of extra production. You're always worth having the water mill. You might as, might as well get it everywhere you can. Let's go and get you killed off. Got an envoy to send. I am going to send it to Zanzibar. Like I said, I do want to get them up to six. We are building a commercial hub. I'm not going to move with you on this turn because they've got a unit standing on the tile that I want to be on. I know you, there's people watching that's going to say it's completely a waste of a scout. And I agree, it is. But 120 gold. That's not too bad. I'll take 120 gold. Choose a new research. Let's go for industrialization. That means we do need to get a um, industrial zone in the capital. Uh, there's a lot of things that we could build here, but I would like to get Chichen Itza. 59 turns is a long, long way away. Um, but let's go ahead and put it right here. Let's go and see what we can do about increasing the production. We've got the production tile locked in there. That certainly makes sense. So yeah, we're, we're doing about all we can on production. We are about to grow in population in two turns. So that won't be too bad. We've got another envoy. Let's send to Zanzibar. So when we get that commercial zone, we'll have a bit of extra money, a bit of extra income. Uh, you are going to clear that camp out, which now just has a half-dead spearman in it. If he wants to attack me, that's fine, because I'm on a hill. What's going on over there? Right, you're being attacked, which I expected. We're going to lose this guy, that's fine. The warrior should finish us off quite easily. Actually gets a promotion, but obviously... Oh, did you... We actually survived that, amazingly enough. So if we get in the water and we take our promotion, we should be fine. Great person. We get a great scientist. Triggers the Eureka moments for three random technologies from the Renaissance or Industrial Era. Definitely take him. Uh, especially because the boosts are worth more to us than they are to the um, to any other sip. Uh, so let's get a camp there. That'll just give us a bit, bit of extra gold, a bit of extra housing. So that's fine. Um... So you need to go and get on the encampment. We'll pop you right now. So we get a boost to steam power, a boost to sanitation, and a boost to siege tactics. Lovely. Uh, let's go ahead and clear that camp out. Should be able to clear that on the next turn. So one more turn before um, Alsdan grows. 
Yeah, I thought that might be you. Let's get over there. So, William Adong is still struggling for housing. That's because it doesn't have fresh water. That was always going to be a problem. Um, industrial zone. We can't get an industrial zone because we require a population of 10 or greater. Our population doesn't ever seem to go above 9, though. I keep see seeing this going up. We're well below the housing cap. We've got surplus food. So, oh, it's because we keep building settlers here. Of course, every time you build a settler, you lose the population. I completely forgot about that mechanic. That is fine. Uh, an aqueduct's not going to help us. Let's go ahead and build the pagoda. It'll give us some housing anyway. So, we need to let it get up to 10. We should probably try and kill this scout off before we clear the camp. We'll clear the camp on the next turn. Uh, you are done, so get back to the city. I had totally forgotten about that mechanic. I really, really had. So let's sort of heal you up and then we'll get you to relative safety. Of course, now we can explore deep ocean tiles. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've also, down here, got this scout who should be able to do pretty much the same thing. Almost forgot about those guys. So we need to get our population up to 10 in the capital. Then we can build the next... Um, the next district we can get an industrial district that's what we want to do so clear that camp out there's another 40 gold thank you very much and yeah we now just start looking for the other civilizations and we might actually find some before turn 200 um have they really left that camp unattended get another 40 gold here if i'm lucky that means this scout will have been worth 180 gold We'll have a go. We might be able to pull it off. Still haven't found anybody yet. You need to get yourselves over to there. There isn't really anywhere we could get fresh water unless we settled on... that. Well, we could settle next to the oasis. We probably want to settle there, though, so we can get all of the fish and the bananas. And Yeah, I still think that's going to be the best spot. So you've cleared that out. You can go back to Alsdan. We need to get some crouching tigers at some point. Yeah, they've still left it unattended. Let's go to fortify up and see if we can jump in at some point and just grab it from underneath them. Are there, this is this map looks a lot bigger than a standard size map to me. I am certain I did set it to standard, didn't I? Um, doesn't actually say on on there anymore, but I'm fairly certain I did. Okay, so the bananas we've got these ones now. Let's go down there and get those. Another barbarian camp over here, so we've got to go and clear that out now. Ah, no map player completed Chichenet, so that is disappointing. Ah, that's a shame. So we lose out there, unfortunately, on Chichen Itza. That makes me sad. Uh, so what do we want to do over here? Let's go ahead and get a Crouching Tiger for 10 turns. Because we do seem to be getting a lot of Barbarian spawns down here. You are going to go and get those bananas, though. That would have been a brilliant city to have had um, Chichen Itza in. It really would have. But it was not meant to be. Our culture's actually not doing too hot at the moment. Come on, there's got to be some more land somewhere around, surely. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that. Let's keep moving. Come on, where are you? Where's all the good stuff? Ah, you're now attacking me with the slinger. Well, that's just not cricket. So we need to back up from there a little bit. Well, you can't reach me now, can you? Uh, Petra has been completed. Well, I wasn't trying to build Petra, so I'm not bothered about that. Um, let's back up with that worker. Crossbow's going to come down here and deal with these guys. We have met another city-state. That is Valletta. So we're probably going to start running into uh, another landmass soon. You want us to train a frigate. Uh, we're a little bit uh, far away from doing that. Um, three more turns and we'll be up to population 10, which is perfect timing because that's when the pagoda will be complete. 
Uh, what do we want to get over here? We need the stable before we can attempt to get the terracotta army. I'm not too sure if the AI is going to beat me to it. It might do. It likes doing crap like that. So, we need to see who we can find. Um, yep, that is an excellent spot for a uh, city right there. Obviously, it needs to be renamed. Um, Foundation Afro is the next one on the list. So, this is going to be Afro Z. Uh, again, we'll focus on food and production. And you want to be working... Yeah, I guess that gives us some faith. Uh, we will want to get a builder over there at some point. In fact, speaking of builders, let's just go ahead and buy one. Because we've got, like, three wheat tiles we can get here already. Um, you should also work on the walls, just in case Germany get ideas about stuff. Crossbowmen, you need to work your way towards that camp. At least the barbarians are a constant source of free money. Um, you can stay here until the borders expand. You've only got one charge left. So we will need to start working on some more builders soon. Obviously not quite as useful now. We can't really use them to rush wonders. We can still use them to rush, um, the Terracotta army if nobody beats us to it, though. Because that is still, uh, a, a, an old enough wonder type. Uh, you should probably go for the... Well, medieval walls now, I suppose, really. Just get them built up. So you've got this um, useful guy here. So there's this is just going to be wheat farms everywhere. So we've just used that guy once. And if you look, he's still got six builds left. So we're getting seven charge builders right now. Which is fantastic. Look, wheat everywhere on this map. Absolutely everywhere. Some citrus. Not very often you s I see that on the map, to be fair. Um, yep, crossbow can keep heading this way. Ah, we have found a scout that we can kill. Uh, one turn away from completing the commercial hub. So we will want to get another trader as soon as possible. And we'll also get bonus gold. Is not gold. Often have you heard that right, so we're now making 24.3 ducats. Uh, if we're not bothered so much about this double influence points here, um, we could go and get one gold from each of our envoys, which are 24.3, now goes up to 41.3, which is considerable. Uh, new civic, let's go for humanism. That increases our trade route capacity as well. Um, I don't think we can afford to buy a trader. Uh, trader's 340. Uh, we're not going to hard build one, though, because we want to work on the industrial zone, which we're going to put right there. We don't get a... Right, we don't get a bonus if we put it there. Is there anywhere we could put it where we would get a bonus and it would still be one tile away from a river? No, not really. I'd prefer... I'd prefer to put it there... And try and get the, the Ruhr Valley to go with it, to be honest. Uh, let's go and get the market for seven turns. You are a scout, so let's get you on land. You might find something useful over here. You obviously are seafaring. Should probably move away from that crossbow. Um, I mean, we know we're right near the top of the map. You conveniently have come towards me. Which always makes it easier to finish those scouts off. So we'll do that. Get some more XP on you. Again, let's just go and keep getting all the wheat here. We might even, uh, instead, I, I did consider building mines here for some extra production. Uh, but we may well just go and build the, um, that six food, wow. Uh, we may well just go and build Great Wall along here, just to sort of give us a bit of defense from Germany. We won't have a lot of production here, though, which is the problem. We'll see how it goes. We're already at the housing cap. This city has grown so fast it's already at the housing cap. On to the next turn we go. And what I'll probably do is... Do we want Great Wall? I mean, we know the production... I, I mean, what is it going to do? It's not going to do a lot of producing for anything. Ah, Brazil. Bom dia. É uma honra conhecê-lo pessoalmente. Let's have a see where you are. 
so you're up there. Okay, fine. And barbarians. Brazil, you have an infestation. Barbarian camp. Yep, so we'll uh, we'll assume heading south is the safer option. Uh, you're heading over here because you want to go and deal with that barbarian camp. Yeah, a lumber mill. We should get a lumber mill. We should get the wheat. I do want to send him over here and get the dyes. We're not in a rush. I mean, we certainly aren't short of... Uh, words. We certainly aren't short of um, amenities right now. Everywhere is ecstatic. Looks like I'm going to struggle to get around Brazil, so we might end up moving this guy back sort of south again. But we'll certainly keep exploring around. We'll do one more turn. It's taking us to a hun turn 167 just to meet the second AI Civ. So that's quite a while. We're into the industrial era. The key so that's industrialization done. We've still got to wait until we get that industrial zone. That looks like the USA. Welcome to the United States of America. If you conduct yourself well, you can consider us friends. So at least we've got some potential uh, trade partners going on here. So there is Baltimore. So assume, see, Brazil already hates me. I've only met him on the last turn, and he's already unfriendly for unknown reasons, which is just ridiculous. Uh, Teddy, how do you know what? I'll send you a delegation. Let's make friends with America. Um, let us go and um, make a deal. Uh, we don't have anything spare that we can give you right now. That is a shame. Surely I must have something spare. Wow, you wouldn't even accept that. Fair enough. Again, this is the this is the point. It's like it's so difficult to actually become even slightly friendly with the AI uh, in this game now. It's like it's almost like. Having the AI in there is a bit of a waste of time. You've moved back into that camp, so we, we'll we probably just ignore that and go and explore around somewhere else, I suppose. Um, that camp, for some reason, has disappeared. Well, I didn't clear it out, so how did that camp disappear? Uh, you're going to go and get the lumber mill. That is all I can do on this turn, so I'm going to end the video there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization VI. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.